Hello everyone, it's Quick Flash, and today I'm going to quickly be showing you how you can compile your own emu flight code, <coughs> how you can start messing with the code and do all that kind of stuff. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, I'll just start off by showing you the basic things that you're going to want to download. And, you know, there's, a, there's multiple ways to do this, but this is just one of the easiest ways that I have found myself where you're going to want to get <coughs> is you're going to want to get Atom and this is where you will edit the code so you'll want to download this you'll want to come download github desktop and I'll put links to all of these in the description of the video you want to get github desktop and what makes this nice is you don't have to learn git commands and other things you can simply just use this to commit code or to grab code off the internet, and it integrates nicely with Atom. That's why I recommend these two. This is just a good starting spot. And then you'll want to read through this guide. I'll put a link to this as well. And this guide shows you how you're going to want to set things up. To get it to work, you're going to want to get Sigwin. So you're going to want to come here and perform a fresh install or update if you already have it, but most likely a fresh install. You're going to want to get that, follow these steps here, go through all of this, <coughs> and then you're going to, when it says that, you know, you need to get the GNU ARM toolchain, <coughs> this is where you stop listening to this guide. So follow it all the way up until that part, and then you can ignore it. So this first part's great for getting you set up with Sigwin. But once you get to where it starts talking about the GNU toolchain, ignore it. This stuff's a bit out of date. You're going to want to come here to this website. I'll put a link to it. You're going to want to get version 7 of the toolchain. This one from June 27. <coughs> you don't want the newer ones that don't work and you don't want the older ones. You need to use this version. So, after you've downloaded all of that, you're going to want to clone this repository so you can have it yourself just to open in github open in desktop I've done that already but when you do that it should open up github desktop and as you can see if you click on these repositories this will show all the different code repositories that you have downloaded on your computer so these are all the ones on mine and when you do it you'll probably just see the one emu flight one which is great you can see all the code in here you can look at everything, <coughs> and if you want to go uh, current branch, you can even change what branch you're on. You can check out different things. But if you just want to get quickly into some coding, come in here, repository, open in Atom, and that'll use Atom, which you should have downloaded. Open up your code, and you can see all this on the left side. This is the file structure and a huge portion of the code sitting here under main and then this is all the good code that gets us to fly you can see here target this has all the code for all the different targets um, startup lots of different code for different you know chips tons and tons of code in here code for black box building all sorts of stuff. Drivers, you name it. <coughs> Pretty much all the code is hiding inside of here. Now, let's say that, you know, this isn't like a intro to programming video, but, you know, if you want to then compile some code, say you decided to make a small change, you went through the code, you found something, you want to make a small change, or you've messed with the target a little bit, and you want to test that out, what you'll need to do is <coughs> open up Sigwin, which is this program, and now you see how this is empty? What you want to do is type CD, and that uh, Sigwin is basically just a um, Linux table. It gives you the ability to run Linux on a Windows device, <coughs> and it allows you to compile your code. So if you type CD slash wherever your code's hiding, 
not what you want to do. So in this instance, if you press the up arrow, it'll go back to the last command that you have done. And right there. <coughs> so you can see that my code, you're going to want to start with slash sig drive, because that's just where everything's hiding when you're using this. You'll want to type that first, cd slash sig drive, and then <coughs> because my the code for emuflight flight is sitting in this folder, I need to type slash c dev slash emuflight flight butter variant. And I can show you in here that that's right where it's hiding. I come down, oh, there's c. I come down to dev, double click on that, and then emuflight butter variant. And that brings up my, you know, the butter, the emu flight code that I have on my PC. So once you do that, you'll type out wherever it is. Each slash means it's a different folder. Once you've got that, you press enter. And as you can see in green up here, that means I successfully got to that folder. Now that I'm here, if you want to make a target, you simply type make target equals and the name of it. You know, let's say we're building a Helio Spring. Type that, press enter, and then you just wait a minute. And, yep, as you can see, it's now beginning to compile the code. <coughs> this should run through. There's a couple errors that will pop up, like this one. I haven't spent the time to fix this, um, mainly because that error doesn't, do anything and it's probably been fixed in beta flight 4.0 so when I start porting over a lot of the beta flight 4.0 code I'll be grabbing that and there's another error here up at the end that you should run into <coughs> unless you decide to fix it yourself and that would be cool but you run this it'll say it's compiling all of this does take it a minute so yeah this error pops up under USB underscore IO dot C there's this bug but it doesn't matter as you can see it's still linking um, and basically linking means it's compiled all your files now it's linking them all together for that final complete file and this last part's pretty cool once it does link. If it'll show up. <coughs> ah, there we go. So it'll show you for this specific flight controller the size of your flash, how much you're using of each of these. So that's pretty cool. So that's 13,000 bytes worth of flash and we've got 16,000 bytes worth. So that shows all the memory and how everything's being allocated. Kind of cool. Now let's say, you know, you make a change but if you're an idiot like me and you mess up the code and by the way, every time you compile, after you've compiled that first time, it doesn't take as long like we'll see here. <coughs> As long as your version number is the same, it compiles a lot quicker. But now you see it's telling you that in the folder pid.c, so under source main flight pid.c, under the function reset pid profile, so that's this piece of code here, void reset pid profile, that there's an error when requesting for dterm filter type. Now there's an error right here and it shows up in red because I've forgotten this comma. So, you know, you have this error or that's red, don't know why it shouldn't be, but you have that error or any other sort of error, you know, you leave off that or whatever else. As it compiles, it'll go and tell you. Um, but, you know, unfortunately when you compile, it doesn't tell you if it'll fly well. And of course, you can always just push the up arrow, and it'll automatically type in your last command. So once you've done this part once, you can just open up um, Sigwin again and just up arrow to find it, and that'll save you.
a lot of time typing that out. But yeah, now that I fixed that, it should compile correctly. And you know, that's basically how you know to go about compiling code in a quick manner. If you'd like me to do more videos like this, maybe show you some of the actual coding or go through more in depth some of the code and how it actually works and everything. Um, let me know in the comments or you know message me, let me know. But for now I think this is sufficient um, showing you how to compile your own code. But yeah, um, have a good one everyone and fly safe.